hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with the subject of neural networks and so far we have uh, been discussing about the basic learning rules and we discussed the five basic uh, learning rules starting from error correction memory based Hebbian uh, com competitive and Boltzmann learning so please check the videos related to learning and all the previous videos related to neural networks now in this video we are going to discuss about uh, specific neural network models okay uh, starting from basic to uh, advanced level so in this video we are going to discuss about a specific very simple neural network model which is McCulloch Pitts neuron okay so we'll be discussing very some basic concepts related to it so the McCulloch Pitts neuron it is uh, also called as the MP neuron okay and it was the earliest and the most uh, simplest of uh, neural networks which were designed uh, for specific purposes so it was discovered in the year 1943 and uh, the basic representation of the McCulloch Pitts neuron model is like this okay consisting of the input layer of neurons and then the output consisting of a single neuron so these are the input signals x1 x2 up to xn and then followed by xn plus 1 up to xn plus m which were given to these input layers of neurons so all the neurons in this uh, MP model they are connected by direct weighted paths now as you can notice here from x1 to xn okay the weights associated with these uh, connections it is given by W plus W you can say positive weight W and they are all equal then from xn plus 1 to xn plus m and there consist of numerous neurons in between they have weighted connections with synaptic weights given by minus p negative so as you can see the weights associated with all the neurons the input layer neurons and the output layer neurons in this mp model we can divide it into two categories excitatory which is positive the W weights and inhibitory negative the minus P weights from Xn plus 1 to Xn so depending on the requirement what type of uh, function we want to implement or what specific purpose this uh, MP neuron has to carry out the weights associated can be excitatory or inhibitory and uh, the neurons they have binary activation function all the neurons associated have binary activation function it means that the output can either be 0 or 1 okay so here the threshold plays an important role okay so here the theta which is the threshold value that plays an important role so again depending on the type of requirement the threshold can be adjusted depending on what specific purpose we want to carry out whether we want to implement a logic function or uh, any kind of a, a programming purpose whether we are using it for any you know automation purpose so depending on that the threshold values can change or for process control or whatever purpose we want to implement it so depending on that the activation function and the threshold value they both play an important role an important characteristic of the McCulloch pit neuron is that it has no specific learning algorithm okay it does not use any specific learning algorithm whether it is supervised unsupervised or reinforcement okay it has no particular training algorithm the learning rules which we have discussed the five basic rules it has no specific learning or training algorithm which is used to train this neuron model now as i said it was the earliest the most simplest of neural network models and it was generally used for implementing logic 
functions okay implementation of logic functions okay so this is all about the mccullough pitts neuron okay which is the basic and the most simplest of neural network models so in the upcoming videos we'll be discussing about more of such neural network models so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much